Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over Mega Garchomp Raid Day in Pokemon Go. It's happening and we're going to go over the details here. With that said, if you do enjoy these types of videos, make sure you do give this one a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get right into this here. All right, so Mega Garchomp Raid Day is going to be going down November 11th from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. local time. That's November 11th from 2 p.m. until 5 p.m. local time. All right, in which you're going to be seeing Mega Garchomp. It's going to be very weak to ice. We'll go over that as well. All right, event bonuses are going to be the remote raid pass limit will be increased to 10 on Saturday, November 11th from 12 a.m. until 11.59 p.m. local time. All right. Well, no, wait, starts, I'm sorry, 12 a.m. You, you got what, you, you know what I meant. All right. So on November 11th from 12 a.m. until 11.59 p.m., you're going to be seeing an increased number of remote raid passes from 5 to uh, 10. Okay. All right. And then you're also going to be receiving up to 5 free remote raid passes when you do spin those stops at gyms. So that's going to be nice as well. Just maximizing as many raids as you can by giving you an extra five, which is nice. You're not paying for this one yet, but we'll get there. Uh, you'll also receive an increased chance to encounter a, sh a shiny Garchomp in the raids, which is pretty cool. You know, shiny Garchomp is horrible. Uh, the mega shiny is absolutely amazing. It, it goes from this very dull color Garchomp to a freaking bright pink. All right. Awesome. And here we go. Here is the ticket. So you're going to be seeing an additional eight raid passes from spinning disc. This is on top of the ones that we're getting. So this is going to be uh, 14 free raid passes total if you do buy the ticket, which is going to be pretty insane, right? An increased chance to get rare candy XL from raids. Get the hell out of here with that crab Niantic with this lying, enticing bullshit of these XL candies and they keep on enticing and lying about this XL candies. You know, the Halloween event wasn't the first time that happened. You do know that, right? That that's not the only time they forgot to make the rare candies more common when they said they were going to be potentially happening. What, what is that? A 0.01% chance to have a extra rare candy? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is still under the ticket you're buying. So an additional extra rare candies when you're going up against these raids, which Okay, let's just say, sure, it works. That's crazy, so hopefully it works. Okay, 50% more XP from raids and then times two Stardust from raid battles. So I'm gonna have to say, you know, with the eight passes, all right, on top of what you're already getting, uh, and if you do actually get the XL candies and then the 50% XP as well as the two times Stardust, yeah, this ticket is definitely worth it, okay? So granted, everything that they said in the ticket is actually going to take place. Let's just hope. And then you're going to see a web store, uh, $4.99, which will include three remote raid passes, an additional two premium passes. So if you want to do that, go ahead. Uh, there's going to be another bundle in there for 595 coins. That includes a free remote raid pass. Wait, three. Okay, I was like, how is that free when it's... <laughs> three remote rate passes for essentially 600 coins okay so they're just giving you more opportunity to raid this as much as possible okay now can you solo this let's talk about it first let's go ahead and look at the counters it's going to be extremely weak to ice period ice and fairy dragon all right the only dragon you're going to want to technically use is maybe if you have a shadow garchomp um but mega rayquaza is the dragon to use otherwise it's going to be strictly ice first Fairy, then dragon. The only dragon is going to be Rayquaza, like we said. Mega at that. This is an extreme weather, so no weather mods here. Okay. Number one is going to be Shadow Mammal Swine. Then we do have Mega Rayquaza, Mega Gardevoir, Shadow Mewtwo with Ice Beam. And I don't need to tell you the moves because the best moves, Ice. Okay. Shadow Weavile, don't have one of those. Backscalibur, don't have enough to max one of those out and wouldn't want to even if I did. Uh, I'm going to wait for Community Day. I'm not stupid. Okay. Uh, Mega Gallade, Mammo Swine, Shadow Articuno, Shadow Walrein, Mega Obama Snow, way down there. Uh, Mega Garchomp itself at 12. And yeah, and now we're moving on to, I do believe this is going to be Snowy Weather. So if you do have Snowy Weather in your area, you're definitely going to be able to solo it. And it's going to be that much easier. This is not like... Uh, Shadow Lugia. Not, not by far. You can do this with two people comfortably. Straight up two people. That's all you need. Okay. Just throw some ice at it. Those snowballs. In snowy weather, best counters are going to be Shadow Mammal Swine again. 
Shadow Mewtwo with Ice Beam, Backscalibur, Shadow Weavile, Mega Gardevoir because it's just so damn good, um, Mega Glade, Regular Mamoswine, Shadow Articuno, Mega Abomasnow, Shadow Walrein, Galarian, Darumaka, Glaceon, and then that's it. For cloudy weather, this is going to be boosting the fairies, all right? So number one is naturally going to be Mega Gardevoir, and it still doesn't have a time that's beating Shadow Mamoswine. It's just number one because it's going to be doing that much damage. Oh, and by the way, with your um, Gardevoirs, you're going to want to use Triple Axel. I didn't mention that. That's the only kind of wacky move that's out of place here because you would think you would want to hit it with Fairy, but no, Ice is still stronger even though it's not getting stabbed. So cloudy weather, okay? You're getting a fairy boost here. Um, Mega Gardevoir, Shadow Mamoswine, Mega Rayquaza, Shadow Mewtwo with Ice Beam again. Always Ice Beam up against this. Uh, Shadow Weavile, Backscalibur, and it doesn't really help the fairies. You're still wanting to use Ice. Do you see how important this is to use Ice to go up against this? Mega Glade, uh, Mamoswine, Shadow Articuno, Shadow Walrein, uh, Mega Abomasnow, Mega Garchomp. And there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at a video. We'll start that right about now here. And we're just gonna take a look at my counters here and kind of set up a team. Uh, I actually, I'm gonna power up my Shadow Mamoswine right now, just so you know I'm committed for this day. So I know a lot of people like to see me do it first. They're like, okay, since he did it, since Poke did it, he invested and I'll go ahead and do it. IVs aren't the best. I've already told you, if you're hunting for the best Shadow of a specific Pokemon, you know, you do what you gotta do, but you could be out here forever looking for that. Personally, for me, I would be, so I'm just gonna max this one out. I don't give a damn, all right? Not wasting time searching for another one of these. All right, so we have our powered up Mamoswine. I was procrastinating, procrastinating about this for a long time, and we just immediately did it. Now, there you go, 300,000 starters down the drain and a ton of XL candies with it, but that's okay, we're okay. Taking a look at all my ice types, I do have this at the top, but that's not gonna necessarily be a counter that we're gonna be wanting to use to go up against Garchomp, especially because we're gonna be taking Super Effective from Dragon in the first place. But once we get Kieran Black and White, I'll be form changing that one to go up against whatever dragons that I want, that I need to, or things that are weak to ice. Ice shadows, alrighty, not looking too great here. Everything is basically in the Ultra League. I mean, I could use this Ninetales, I suppose, but uh, yeah, no, that'd actually do pretty good. That'll actually do pretty good. But I don't think we'll resort to that quite yet. We'll just kind of stick to what we have or what we're going to take a look at here. So going down to my parties, I'm going to go ahead and put a team together for you so you can see what I have going on here. And I kind of realized for a second, oops, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it. Okay. All right. Okay, so I'm just like going back and forth. Yeah, I set it up with the Rayquaza in the second place because we're going to be mega evolving that. We have Mewtwo in the third slot. That's Shadow, and it does have Ice Beam. Now, I already told you all about this, but I'll say it again in case you missed it at one point in time. Uh, you know, it's not good to elite TM or have a double legacy on all of your Mewtwo's that you powered up. Uh, I'm talking about Psystrike Strike and Shadow Ball because if you do do that, you know, those are great moves and all but you're going to be limited to those. And then if you want to remove them, you're gonna to have to, you know, remove one of the moves that you used in Elite TM to get, unless you did catch it with Shadow Ball or Sight Strike, but nonetheless, you're gonna to have to remove one of those. So I do like to keep one on deck that doesn't actually have both of those legacies, and that is going to be my Shadow Mewtwo. So there you have it. Looking pretty awesome, folks. Are you excited for Mega Garchomp? It is one of the best ground type attackers. It is one of the best dragon type attackers. It is getting outperformed by Primal Groudon and uh, maybe Shadow Excadrill now, but the DPS times TDO for Shadow Excadrill is absolutely horrendous. So you'll be in battle for uh, maybe a few seconds. Uh, it depends. If you're going up against Electric, then that's another story, but you know what I mean. So yeah, definitely something you want to raid. Absolutely amazing design. Don't get too hyped for that shiny catch screen because it's still going to be ugly until you Mega Evolve it into Mega Garchomp, which it turns into pink. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.